Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So the weather is not very nice this week and it doesn't look like it's going to be nice for a while which is quite upsetting. I thought it would be a good idea to film a summer outfits what I am planning to wear in summer video to try and get me in the mood for summer and try and get me out of this funk of the weather not being nice. So yeah that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through my wardrobe and plan a few outfits, see what summer clothes I've got, come up with a few ideas to help you guys get inspired for summer as well. So yeah let's go, let's get changed together. Also look how funky my eyeliner is, it's blue! Ah! I love it! Bottoms. Bottoms. Let's do that first. These are all the bottoms that I have. That's a lie. These are all the shorts I have. I'll also go through my skirts as well because I've been liking skirts. I never used to wear them but I actually quite like them now. This is my skirt drawer. So usually when I plan outfits I start with the bottoms first. I pick out the bottoms and then I pick out a top to match with it and then shoes obviously and jewellery to match the whole the whole vibe. What I'll do is I'll just pick an outfit to go with each of the bottoms I have. So first pair. I think I got these last year. They were like three quarter length cargo trousers and I just didn't like the length so I made them into shorts by really just you know hacking at the bottoms but you don't notice that anyway because I rolled them up. So with these, I would go with, I don't know, a colourful top as well, I think. Maybe matching monochrome. I think that would be cute. So I got this little polo neck thing, which is inside out, from Primark. But I think that would be cute with those. I'll try it on. They're a little bit wrinkly, but it's fine. So I just, I just roll them and then you can't see the really shitty raw hem that I made. I just think this is a really fun colour for summer, like lilac, you can't go wrong with it can you? And monochrome lilac fits. So yeah, this is the first one, I probably also style it with some Converse, I feel like Converse are quite summery shoes. What should I do next? Should I do some cargo? Some more cargo pants while I'm in the mood, but these are you know, colours of actual cargo pants. I don't know what would go with them. So these I got off eBay, I think, for like five pounds. They're not very flattering at all, unless you wear a belt. So let me find one. I'm just going with a black belt with a brassy sort of colored buckle. And all of my summer clothes are crinkled because obviously I haven't worn them in a while. They've just been in the bottom of my wardrobe. So yeah, these are the shorts on. They fit a little bit better now that I've got a belt on. I love the length of these. They make me feel like an explorer and I need an explorer hat. I don't know what will go with this. I don't know. I bought this top from Topshop uh, a couple of months ago, but I love the colour. It says Niagara Falls and I feel like you'd wear these shorts to Niagara Falls. So this outfit, I think would work. What do you rate this outfit? Four out of ten. Yeah. With Converse. Six. Really? Well, no, just like my normal, my normal style. Seven. Seven. Okay, I can cope with a seven. I like it. I like it. I feel like a little boy. Yeah, that's, that's sort of what makes me go more six than ten. <laughs> Goodbye to you too, little boy. So he rated this a seven. Um, well, a six first, I'm a little bit offended. But you could, you could style it differently, couldn't you? But I'd wear Converse with it. These are my favorite find ever. Pretty sure I got these in a charity shop for like a fiver. They're not my size, quite obviously. But I make them work, ladies and gentlemen. Good job it has a drawstring, isn't it? To be fair, this top goes with it. But I kind of like, how cool for this is, so I'd probably go for a neutral on top, like a white top or something. So I'm gonna find one. So again, this also a charity shop find. It was originally quite long, so I just cropped it. I like this, I like it a lot. It's a little bit baggy, so I might get a bobble, do that tie trick and then tuck it under. To be fair, I don't even need a bobble. There we go, that worked. I would wear this with my chunky sandals, so. I have these bad boys, so I'd probably just 
you know, so it's monochrome, but then blast of colour. But yeah, I'd wear them, I think. That's a cute outfit, right? These are probably my favourite shorts ever. I can't remember where I got them from, but they are Levi's. These are kind of like Bermuda shorts, mum style. Absolutely freaking fantastic, so let's put them on. So these shorts are a little bit big for me. So where's the belt gone? I've lost it. Swing it round. Swing it. Quite boy vibes, but I like it. It's cute, you know, it's comfy. We like it. Another thing that you can do with some mum denim shorts, mum jeans, denim shorts, is do the whole bikini for a top thing with an oversized shirt. Now I'm not going abroad this year, so I wouldn't wear a bikini in England. But if you guys are, then that's a good outfit to wear. I'll show you what I have in mind though. This shirt is beautiful, secondhand, originally ASOS. It's just oversized and a beautiful colour. I reckon you could wear these with the chunky sandals again and this would be a fit. I just love, you know, I think it's cute. You could get away with this in the UK, right? So then the only other pair of denim shorts that I have are a little bit lighter wash and they're frayed on the bottoms and they are cute. They fit me a lot better than these ones. So I think I got these off eBay for a couple of pounds. Seven pounds. I think they were originally trousers as well because of the way that they've cut them. But do you know what you could do to like make it look cool? Is also tie it. And then that's a vibe. I don't know. I feel like you can do anything with denim shorts and it looks good. The other trend that I've absolutely been loving is the whole scarf, bandana, top thing. I like to do it with really weird pattern scarves though. So I'll show you the ones I've got. So I've got these ones and I've got another one in the wash. This one's kind of cream, this one's a bit more bold pattern, and this one's green. You can literally style them any way. You can get them for charity shops for a couple of pounds. You can get them from, I got this one from a vintage shop for £1.50. So you can do them in lots of different ways. You can tie it that way. You can tie it round this way. If you have a big enough one, you can kind of tie it around your neck like that and it kind of covers your boobies there but i'll try one of the ways just to show you that scarves make really nice tops so this is it and i'm not a particularly confident person when it comes to showing my degaillatage but i think these scarves this scarf top hat is really flattering if you do it better than i do and it's in the middle it like really accentuates your waist i don't know i just think it's cute and it's really cheap and versatile, so definitely recommend buying a vintage scarf for summer. You know what, you could even do this with a skirt if you wanted to. So I've gone through all my shorts, I'm gonna go through my skirts, and I didn't used to like long skirts, but I think I prefer them now, like long, A-line, beautiful. So this, actually, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I recently bought a super long, <laughs> denim skirt literally it reaches my ankles but i don't know i think it's cute i'll show you you won't be able to see the full length because i haven't set up my camera very well but it does reach the full let me see if i can mind a step or something i oh, still can't see i don't know i think it looks cool you don't have to agree with me <laughs> fashion is you know it's all about preference anyway but i think this is cute like scars with long airline skirts so for nights out in the UK, I think you could go for like the long, like midi maxi skirts. You can't see this one either. I'm not, this is terrible. So that sort of length. And I just think they're really flattering and you can dress them up or down. So if I wanted to dress this down, I'd wear it with like trainers and like a band t-shirt. But if you wanted to dress it up, this is from the pajama section in Primark, but you could dress it up with like a nice, cute little lingerie piece. If you got cold, you could always put like a white turtleneck underneath and then just some chunky boots. And I think that's really cute. Like that's a vibe in my eyes. So you could either tuck that in or you could leave it out. You could do a half in, half out, whatever you fancy. And then you could just pair it with some chunky boots like this. And for me, that is, I don't know. I think it, I think it looks cool. Let me show you with the other skirt. They're just so flattering like on any body type as well. Can you see? <laughs> Again, dress it down, this skirt with a band t-shirt. You'll look sick. Okay, so my phone just had a sort of 
weird mini meltdown, lost some of my footage. But basically I was saying that these kind of skirts are already in fashion. I've seen a few of you on Instagram and TikTok. They're basically just hippie kind of skirts, you know, with a, with a lot of layers and like that kind of style. And I would dress these either with, you know, a really small crop top or something like this with like the DIY TikTok top. I just think it's cute. And summery. Uh, you kind of look like an old lady. It's a vibe, I like it. And then the last thing I wanna show you is a sort of dress that you can keep your eye out for, which is this. Very 2YK, is that how you say it? 2YK. You will have to have a lot of confidence to go out in public in these, so props to you if you do. We'll see if I do. I am planning to. <laughs> I don't know if it'll happen yet. But yeah, those are all the outfits that I plan on wearing this summer, depending on the weather in the UK, because like I said, I'm not going abroad. Like this, I don't think I could wear, unless I had like a little jacket, but it would be, it would be fine like in Spain or somewhere like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite, and also give this video a big fat thumbs up. You should can English. You can also subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot to me. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!